Is the Royal Enfield Meteor 350 the best small capacity cruiser motorcycle on the market? Let's find out in today's video. As you may notice, there are already some modifications done on this Aurora black version. The windshield disappeared, there are some engine crash guards, the touring foot pegs, and there are some HEPCO side panniers mounted on the back. When I did my last video, the review of the Aurora black, I couldn't resist, I was so impressed. I bought the bike, so this Royal Enfield Meteor 350 will be the bike for my next road trips. We have beautiful weather today, so I will do a short ride and it will tell you a little bit about why I bought the bike, what I will do in the future, what kind of modifications are planned, and of course I will explain you why I did these modifications here on the bike already. If you call a motorcycle a good cruiser motorcycle, what requirements does it have to meet? Of course, this is always a very subjective and personal requirement. I can speak for me and what does cruising mean for me? You always have to find out what kind of motorcycle rider you are. You like cruising, you like a more sporty ride, you go for long distances, you just ride in the city. There are so many different ways to ride motorcycle and you just have to find out what suits you the best. And for me, and for me, I rode a lot of motorcycles in the past. So what is my preferred way to ride a motorcycle? I think it's the, the cruising. For me, it's very important that I can relax. I want to have fun. I want to relax. I want to have a view on the beautiful landscapes that I'm crossing and passing by. So what are my requirements on a good cruising bike? First, it's the riding comfort on every bike for me. If I'm sitting on a bike and I don't feel comfortable, I have no fun at all. This is the point where the Royal Enfield Meteor really shines. Even I'm a very tall rider, I'm 188 centimeters. The riding comfort and the seating position for me is very good. Very relaxed, very comfortable. And this is the first point that is really important. The second point is the way the bike rides, of course. For me, it should be a, an easy experience. So not a heavy bike, not heavy to maneuver. It should be an easy, uncomplicated ride. And this is what the Royal Enfield Meteor gives me. It's easy to handle. It's quite light. It's 191 kilograms, which is not that light, but it's 20 kilo less than my Honda. The center of gravity is very low. So handling this bike and maneuvering and uh, parking in the garage and all that kind of stuff that you are doing the whole day is very relaxed and easy on this motorcycle. Third thing is the feeling the bike gives me. And this means the sound, the vibrations, the engine. And it's really strange, but these small 350cc capacity bikes, they have something special. It's uh, hard to describe. They have no power. It's just 20 horsepower, but 27 newton meters of torque. So they are quite torquey, but the sound, uh, the way they behave, the whole feeling, this classic look, and it goes directly into my heart. It gives me a very special feeling when I'm riding the bike. And it was the same with the classic 350, but the riding position on the Meteor is more comfortable for me. I like the look too, but of course the design of the classic is amazing. This retro look, this 50s, 60s look. The Meteor is looking a little bit more modern. It's a cruiser style bike, but still looking like an old fashioned classic cruiser bike. This is what I really like with the chrome headlamp and a um, lot of chrome and the engine. The whole styling is very retro looking. And then of course the range of the bike is very important for me because I like traveling. I do a lot of road trips and the fuel capacity of the tank is quite good. It's 15 liters, two liters more than on the Classic. And it has a fuel consumption between 2.6 and up to, I think, 3.5 liters, which is very good. So you can go 400 kilometers without any problem. And this, of course, is very pleasant if you do longer road trips. You don't have to stop that often to go to a gas station. Of course, there are some modifications that I already did on the Meteor and that I will do in the future and I will do some videos about it. I will tell you why I did these modifications when I'm doing a ride now because it's beautiful weather and I will enjoy it a little bit together with you on a small weekend ride.
so this is what cruising is for me riding on the country roads at a relaxed speed enjoying the weather listen to some music chill a little bit leave all the stress behind cruising on these kind of roads this is what's really relaxing for me and the uh, Meteor 350 is absolutely perfect for that and the sound is really amazing a little bit different than the classic I think I would prefer the sound of the classic compared to this one but still a very nice sound for a single cylinder engine and this rumble in the exhaust and the engine is really nice gives you a very zen feeling but on the other hand you have no vibrations in the handlebar or in the footpacks yeah before i will tell you more about why this is the perfect cruiser for me i will tell you a little bit about the modifications that i already did and the first thing i did was to take off the windscreen it looks nice it also gives a good protection for your chest but for my height it was absolutely terrible it was pushing the wind directly into my helmet so i had a lot of buffeting and wind noise on my helmet and this is something that i really don't need especially when i want to talk to you and to motor vlog always appreciate it if there is as less noise on the helmet as possible so that's why i took off the windshield maybe i will look for another one there's one taller windscreen from uh, gv maybe i test this one out uh, but especially only for my road trips to get a little bit more wind protection and weather protection i don't know how it looks but maybe i will try it it's not that expensive second thing i mounted are the engine crash cards the octagon ones I had these on the classic 352 I think they look very good give the bike a little bit wider view from the front and for me it's important because I will mount my LED headlights there and I always use the crash guards to mount my 360 camera because then you have some great angles to put your camera in I will do a video about the Insta360 soon. Yeah, so these are the crash guards and of course they protect the motorcycle if it's falling to the side or stuff like that. Quite robust and looking good. And for me important for the LED headlights and of course for my cameras. So the bike was already equipped with a touring seat. At the moment I'm not sure if I really like it or if I try to get the standard original seat and try this one this will be I think a little bit softer I had the same with the classic 350 I mounted the touring seat but at the end when I did a road trip I went for the original seat and I put my air pillow on it the SW Motec and I had the perfect riding comfort so this one is quite stiff too of course it's new so I have to test it for a little bit longer but at the moment for shorter rides I'm not sure if the original seat isn't better for sure the touring seat is looking better in my opinion with the stitching and the Royal Enfield emblem on it but we will see maybe I test the other one too then of course I mounted the panniers the Hepco and backup panniers on the Meteor 350 I had this same ones on the classic 350 so I kept them and put them on this bike and I think they fit very good with the shape of the bike so I think this was a good decision of course I always need a little bit of luggage compartment for my cameras and for some drinks and to not always use a backpack which I don't like on a motorcycle I put my panniers back on this bike and I'm quite happy with them they have 21 liters on each side so enough for a weekend trip or for my camera equipment and some drinks and whatever yeah I still have to ride the meteor a little bit careful because I'm in a break-in period 
the bike has 240 kilometers now nearly so not faster than 80 kilometers for me most of the time maximum 70 and yesterday I was uh, refueling the bike after the first 200 kilometers and the fuel consumption was 2.6 liters which is absolutely amazing 2.6 great absolutely great so this gives a an enormous range for longer road trips of course there are a lot of modifications planned and if you are interested in seeing what i do with this bike and what modifications i install on the meteor 350 then hit the subscribe button and if you want to keep updated if a new video is coming out then also click the bell icon this would be really appreciated helps the channel a lot i'm using the tripper navigation at the moment just to test how it works it's quite simple you have just an arrow left right straight whatever different colors you have the distance to your next turn and i have the distance to my destination of course you can also put the time of your arrival there i really like the speedometer very big good readability yeah and the riding comfort still very good suspension is yeah it's okay it filters a lot of uh, small bumps away but not the best and i like it really comfortable because if you are getting a little bit older and you get problems with your back then it's always appreciated if you have a better more comfortable ride especially on long distance rides so i will check if there's a possibility to change the shocks on the rear because the front is okay 130 millimeters of travel this is fine but the back is a little bit stiff and then in combination with a stiff seat maybe i can change it so it's always customizing a bike to your taste and uh, optimize it for your usage and i have a little bit time now because the winters winter is coming so i have enough time to do a lot of videos what i'm installing on the meteor 350 and to finish it for my next planned road trip yeah this is so easy with a meteor just cruise around explore the countryside take your time and relax and this is what i'm planning to do with this bike not being in a hurry if i'm doing my long distance rides i will take my time better a few days more but go on the country roads take a relaxed ride do a little bit more stops do some sightseeing explore the landscape i think this will be much more relaxed than if you have a fast bike and go on the autobahn push through the alps stay a few days in the alps which is beautiful and then head back on the autobahn so i will try to get back to my old style of riding and this is cruising this is relaxing this is exploring not being in a hurry i think every one of us has enough stress in his life in his work and so i think it's a good thing if you go on your motorcycle to go a step backwards relax a little bit and just enjoy the ride yeah this is why i think the royal enfield meteor 350 is one of the best if not the best small capacity cruiser on the market at the moment especially for the price of 4400 up to 4700 euro it's a great offer you can have a lot of fun with this bike even it has just 20 horsepower it doesn't matter it's about the way the bike feels it's not only about the power if you want to go faster if you want to overtake if you want to go on the highways look for another bike if you want to cruise if you want to relax if you want to explore the countryside this is a beautiful bike for that and i think it looks amazing so please write down in the comments what you think about the 
Meteor 350 Aurora Black. And if you like the video, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And of course, I see you in the next one. Take care, ride safe and cheers.